Hi, Omega Chaos again, and with another online tech profile, and this time I am showing my updated uh, Fluffle deck. Uh, probably the best uh, uh, fusion based deck uh, currently around. Uh, it can do some pretty nice uh, OTK plays um, and all that. So I guess uh, let's go over the stack. Of course, first the monsters, free, a uh, fluff all dog, uh, probably the not best uh, main deck uh, monsters. Uh, pretty much search out any fluff all monster or airchimp savers. Uh, too bad it doesn't search other uh, age imp uh, monsters. I think it was definitely a massive a design mistake, but I guess they didn't think there was going to be more A chimps when they designed uh, this card, I guess. So, yeah. Then, uh, two Fluffalver uh, discarded to uh, set the Toy Mender uh, from the deck, so definitely really good. Of course, no thanks to uh, Fluffal Wings. Um, only run 2, I don't think you need to run 3, um, I don't, uh, you shouldn't um, have too many uh, of the toy vendor engine cards, uh, because otherwise you will draw too uh, many of them, so you kind of want to keep your deck consistent. And you can also tribute this card to add the Bulmer session from the Graveyard back to your hand. But that effect is not going to be used uh, that much. Then two, Fluffle Owl, to pretty much search for Bulmer session. Of course, pretty much the key card of the deck. And it, you can also uh, fusion someone uh, with this card on its own as well if you have somehow uh, ran out of uh, polarization, so then with a really good card and very essential. Then two fluffle sheep, you spell some it if you control a fluffle monster, except itself, and then you can return a fluffle monster from the field to the hand, and then you can summon an agent from the hand or graveyard. Then with a pretty good for some combo plays, Just uh, put the fluffle dog back to your hand, then you use it again next turn, and stuff like that. Then one Fluffle Cat, pretty much so you can recycle your uh, polymerizations if you use it as fusion material. So you can keep uh, going with your combos, so I think it's definitely a really good card. Um, before I thought that Fluffle Rabbit is better, but now I think Cat is better because it just yeah extends your combos in the, in the deck. Then two Fluffle Wing. Wings, so that made a really good card. Uh, if this card is in the graveyard and you control Toy Vendor, you can banish it and one other Fluffle Monster in the graveyard, and then you draw one card, and then you can send a Toy Vendor you control to the graveyard, and then you draw another another card, and then of course you can get the Toy Vendor uh, search effect as well. So that with the uh, makes a, makes a really powerful engine. Uh, it is even used in some other uh, decks as well, although I think it's really uh, most effective in Fluffles. So, that would be really nice, you can, you can get some massive advantages with this card for sure. But again, I don't think you need to run uh, free because you don't want to draw too many of them without yeah, uh, other cards. Then of course, Agimps, uh, free Agimps chain, probably the best Agimp because you can search for your fight for cards. From the deck, if you use it, if you if it's sent from the hand or fiat to the graveyard, and also if you attack with this card, you can search for another copy of itself. Then, of course, uh, Agent Savers, of course, really good card. Uh, of course, going into your main fusions like uh, Tiger and Wolf, and you can also puzzle itself by uh, putting a card from the hand to the top of the deck. Then one HM saw, pretty decent effect, but not as great as others. Uh, and of course, you use it to go into your uh, fight for Leo. 
and of course to King of the Swamp uh, to search for polymerization and also use it as fusion substitute for any of the aging and monsters. So then we take a look at card in a stack. But may you can run aging uh, tomahawk instead of this as well if you yeah. Then uh two polymerization. Um I only run two because I yeah I don't want to clog my hand with too many uh polymerizations uh without having enough monsters so I think two is fine because you can recycle polymerization pretty easily and you can also of course have a yeah, have your other uh, fusion cards like fight for fusion and fight for factory and of course free fight for fusion pretty much miracle, miracle fusion uh for uh, fluffles the like a very powerful card you can search it out with uh, Asian chain then one fight for factory pretty much extra polymerization you banish your uh, fusion or polymerization cards from the graveyard and then of course you can yeah fusion someone and you know, and if this card is into graveyard you can recycle off your banished uh, fight for fusions and add it to your hand which of course you're not going to use that often <laughs> Because of course your point is not going to MST out or anything like that probably. Then two toy vendor of course really essential for a toy vendor engine. Uh, before uh, Fluffa Wings uh, came out, uh, this card was pretty much completely useless. But now with Fluffa Wings, it's uh, it is very essential. Then uh, two uh, fusion conscription and uh, to search for your HMs pretty much because of course they are named uh, fusion materials. Uh, there is a restriction for that you cannot use uh, those cards um, effects you searched uh, so yeah but I think it's still pretty good it also counts as a, a fusion card you can punish it for uh, fight for factory so I think it's pretty good then triple insult fusion it has um, main two uses first is to summon uh, Fight for Sheep from next deck, so you can use it for some other plays and also uh, to, of course, for the Northern play. Uh, because uh, if you summon Fight for Sheep, it counts as properly summoned. So if you rev revive it with something like uh, Fight for Saber Sabertooth, it's uh, yeah, really good. Then Traps, only a few of them because, of course, like you know, it, this deck is very aggressive. You don't want to want to, uh, yeah, uh, use too many traps. So first, designer fight for pretty much a revival card for any Asian or Fluffer monster. It was counted as a fight for monster for a fusion summon. Then one fight for March. It was a protection from uh, targeting the effects, and also you can send that uh, fight for monster to the graveyard. And then you can summon a, a level 8 or higher fight for fusion monster from the extra deck as well. But it's banished in your in your next end phase. So definitely a pretty nice card. You can search it up easily with HM, HM chain. So yeah. Then of course three strong strike, no explanation needed, so I'm warning and bottom trap hole. No deck select. One fight for Chimera. It is very hard to summon, but I just want to keep it around as an extra option. You can yeah, cut it if you want, but I just kind of like this card. Then one fight for Sabertooth, uh, of course, a really powerful monster. You can survive when you fight for if you uh, fusion summon it. And also, if you used three or more fusion materials for this card, this card can be destroyed by battle card effects. So it becomes pretty much a Bells uh, so very nice card. <laughs> Might, yeah, you might even want to run more of this card, but not completely sure. Then, of course, Fight for Leo, which is pretty much Volcosaurus, yeah, really good. Uh, fight for Bear, um, you are not going to summon it, I think, at all, but just uh, so I can search out uh, Fight for Bear with uh, Fusion Conscription, because it's, of course, named on the card. Then, Fight for Wolf, of course, for that Auto K play, yeah, you, you are. You only need one because once you summon it, it's pretty much game over already. So I don't think you, you, you need multiples. Then of course, free fight for tiger. Of course, uh, yeah, destroy your opponent's cards. Yeah, very powerful card. 
probably the best uh, fusion monster uh, in the stack for sure. Then a free fight for ship. Of course, I run free because of I run instant fusion, of course. So and uh, definitely another really good uh, fight for fusion. And of course, Northern for the instant fusion plays, so I can go into any of my my rank fours. But I only run, of course, one of them. So ten exist monsters only free. Acosta, of course, the best uh, rank four. Then Super Quantum Mech Beast Grand Pools, MST on legs, and Sky Cover Centria, uh, rank two, probably the best one. So uh, uh, this was my update, uh, Fluffle uh, online uh, uh, tech profile. I definitely do want to make this tech in real life, but right now it's not really possible. Uh, uh, there are some expensive cards in this deck, like Fight for Sabertooth and all that, and some of the other cards are also, are also pretty hard to get. But eventually I might make it. Uh, and also King, King of the Swamp is also pretty expensive for some reason. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, online tech profile uh, for now. Uh, goodbye and Omakius out.